good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching me from at the time uh, my name is alexandra odekian i'm a filmmaker and a photographer based in lagos nigeria and i'm also a retoucher and a video editor too so this is the part where i take you guys through the frequency separation part so i've gone through the blemish removal aspect so now i'm going through the frequency separation aspect so you guys can actually watch the previous one to understand uh what i'm going to be doing today so um so thank you for joining me today frequency separation is going to be this part how i do my frequency separation without any plugins first of all I duplicate this background so i have this background here and along it then i dupl duplicate it so for the lower background um so let me zoom out yeah zoom out so we have two backgrounds so on the lower background the layer zero which you can rename you can you go to your filter then blur gaussian blur so increase it to the point where you know the image is not totally blown out it's not totally blurry but at least to some extent it is not as sharp as it is so you can increase it so until you can see just a few not not much details on it so i think um 3.0 is fine for me uh, i don't really like anything more than 3 2.5 anything more than 3 is too much so then i'll go i turn on the layer one then i'll go to um apply image so layer zero which will be what i will choose then change the blending mode from uh multiply to subtract then the layer one to layer zero then you make sure that your scale is two these are all the settings that i i've seen because i did research on it and i've been using these settings for a while and it works for me so scale is two the offset is one two eight opacity is 100 can you understand so what you're trying to do in this process is, is very simple you are trying to subtract layer zero which is going to be the layer that contains your color you know why did you are subtracting it from layer one which is which happens to be the layer that contains your texture so then you now change the blend the, the blending option of the layer one to linear light and automatically things works out so let me rename it so the low frequency will be the layer zero why the layer one will be the high frequency so you can decide to leave it the name you want but i just wanted it to look more familiar with the um professional one the professional tool that you have to buy uh, or you get a crack version but these are inbuilt you know um photoshop this then i select both then group them so you can limit our uh, frequency separation uh, so on the lower frequency that's where you control the color you understand so you use the i'm using the patch too so select the part two then those aftermath that was that were caused by uh fort healing that i did in the former video i'm sorry i'm interested i love it. let me just nest this song okay okay so let's continue um drag this or you just circle around anything you see that is not really good you just blend them together that's what you're doing that's what i'm doing here I'm blending everything that look um like any color that is distracting you know you can see one before head over there so but let me just finish this one i'll go over there again and one thing about retouching once you're retouching always try to zoom closer so you can see whatsoever you're doing properly and don't over um patch because once you keep dragging a particular spot like this over and over get to a point it looks like um the person's face looks very plasticish you know so be careful and try and circle just that part you know that has the you know blemishes or whatever and it would work so uh, any time you know you did something and uh, you use the low frequency and it didn't work you can click on the high frequency it will definitely work you know but just to know when you're dealing with texture then you have to be on the high frequency you have to patch with the high, with the high frequency 
you can see this for example as is the uh, high frequency not the low frequency then i use the low frequency to compensate it so things blends together so that's basically what i'm doing So I think I should speed up um, this and um, so always try to see where you're coming from. So let me see. So this is where we are coming from, and this is where we are now. Can see there's a much difference. So I mean, next the sound, please. Sorry, I love I love I love music a lot, especially when I'm, when I'm retouching. You no, know, you do that a lot. You no, know? if you start retouching very often, you understand why you need music. You know, just little 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 things that might distract people, or from when when they see your images, little little things. You no. Know? Just try and take them out. That was all, basically. Mm, so, you always alternate between those two. You know, actually, yeah, shortcuts to alternate between uh, low frequency and high frequency, which will be a separate video where I'll be teaching you guys shortcuts in Photoshop that can help you um, work more efficiently and faster and effectively, and they work effectively. So, yeah so just suck around and drag suck around drag you know that's it basically so what you're basically doing with frequency separation is you are separating your texture and your color into two different layers so you can work with um both separately that's basically what you're doing that's why you're, so you're choosing your blending option to be subtract On the low frequency then i'll just paint on it so um mixer brush so you can see my settings over here my wet is two my load is seven my mix is eight then my flow is five so then i just take the brush then i just brush on the face you know just smoothing things out not too much she doesn't look too plasticish just brush the face a bit by bit just nose you know that's all basically let's brush the body you know 
softly and gently just brush through make sure you go through the your face so so gently 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 so you're just gonna be doing remember you're doing this on the low frequency not the high frequency because the high frequency contains your texture you're doing this on a low frequency that contains your color so you're trying to blend use the mixer brush you just blend in you know, sometimes you may see some issues then you have to use your part to, to you know erase some stuff but that is it basically so with that you still go back to your mixer brush uh, once again and um continue the shortcut i'm using is just b for mix for, for brush and you can see there's an icon beneath the mixer brush once you click on it it will bring a normal brush the difference between brush and mixer brush but if you hit shift b you notice the icon will keep changing until you get to mixer brush then use mixer if you use brush it won't work use mixer brush that's the name mixer brush you hit shift b continuously until you see mixer brush so this is basically all i'll be doing just brushing through So I brush, brush through the hands, you know, everything just brush through the entire body. So brush through the entire body. So once I'm done with that, then I'll create the dodge album. So let me take you guys through to so save. Then let me take you guys through um, dodge album, my dodge and burn process. So the way I create my dodge and burn is is this very simple so i go to this icon over here and i create curves i actually create two curves so the first one will be darker that will be the the bone so i rename it bone then i create under curves again and this time around, I'll cre make this one lighter and I'll name this one Dodge. Dodge. So then I'll group them together. So I know that is my Dodge and Bone layer. So name them Dodge and Bone. You can name it anything you want to, but I prefer naming it Dodge and Bone. So under this, what I do basically is I'll invert the mask, which you can do by clicking Control I. Control I by clicking on the mask will invert the mask, which means that I'm gonna be painting on it. Basically, so that's what Max does. So if you invert it, then you use your brush. This time around, you're using the normal brush, not the mixer brush. brush. You use the normal brush now around. Remember, my flow is five. Why my opposite is the hundred. So now I'm gonna use the same thing I did with the um mixer brush, but this time around on the dodge layer. So the principle, my own principle of dodge and burn is whatever is light on the norms in the picture, you dodge. Whatever is dark or that you want it you want it to be dark, you use bone. So that is for head the nose. You know, when I dodge those people, those parts underneath, underneath is eye, that's eye back, you know, cut created by this shadow created by the glasses he's putting on. I will dodge that too, so you can see the difference. You know, you can see the difference on his forehead, you know, just to enhance his face, you know, make it more pronounced. 
remember always zoom in to see what you're doing so so underneath is egg glass egg glasses eye glass you know paint on it also just like that So you can see the difference so let's not go for the other side of the face and I'll repeat the same thing too So the jaw, the jawline too. You know, see the difference. Yeah. So underneath its neck, you have to fix that too. Than the, this thing, and now, now I think you can see the difference between before and after. Before and after, you know, it's brightening, it's a brightening of the hands, the ears, brightening that up too. Show the hands also, you know. Remember, you bright, you dodge the bright parts and you burn the dark parts, or depending on how you want, or you want to increase uh, re or reduce the ha the reduce the shadows. You know, you can dodge that part. And maybe you want to reduce the highlight, you can also dodge. Yeah, you can also burn that part. after before and after so that's it so for the bone now so this part of it you know just go through the aspect like that you know just bit by bit you know you yeah, definitely see the before and the after before after so yes it's giving the face a shape basically that's what dodge and burn is meant for it shapes it carves your face properly before after so reduce the opacity to i i are still within 20 something to 30 something so same thing with the dodge too it's too white i reduce it to uh, 31 35 that's good enough so see the before and the after which before and after you see there's not that much difference though but the difference is there so let me zoom in so you can see it now so i think i saw something here and take it off take it off yeah yeah I'm a champion, motherfucking champion. Remember this. Five, 
Fireboy is actually killing it. This Apollo album is is a bomb. I love it a lot. Okay, this part. This, 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 this too. So basically, you just keep saying new, new things. Even on the clothes, you iron it. I work on that episode where I get to show you guys how to iron um, round point clothes on in Photoshop. How to iron clothes in Photoshop. I, th- I think that would be the topic. How to iron clothes in Photoshop. But in this episode, this series, I won't. I'll be just going through the basics. You know, not going through the advanced version. So basically, I think that is the before, and this is the after, before, after. So, I think I need to re- increase the dodge a little bit. We should add more shape to its face before and after. Before, after, increase that. I think it's too white a little bit. So, yeah. You know, just for every image has their own you know, opacity rate, you no. Know. So, I think for now, that's all. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll be teaching you guys how I color grade um, in, in Photoshop. You know, after doing frequency separation, how I color grade. So, thank you today for watching my episode, for watching my tutorial. And I hope you learned one or two. Plus, if you enjoy this video and you want more content like this, kindly subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. My name still remains Alex Udekian. See ya all. See you another time. Bye.